Hey, welcome to the Sniper's Hide review of the Desert Tech HDI rifle. This is a multi-caliber switch barrel system. And I have to say that if you're looking to get into ELR, if you're looking to participate in one of the competitions, such as King of Two Mile, this is an outstanding platform for you to consider. You can almost look at it as a turnkey system. Able to shoot everything from 50 cal, 416, 375 shy tack, and all the Wildcats in between. I think it's great for somebody who's looking to get into this type of shooting without breaking the bank. Now, from front to back with the uh, Desert Tech, real simple to switch this out. Back here, bolt comes right out and swaps. No problem there, gives you easy access. Has an adjustable cheek for guys that are looking for that. You can bring the cheek up and down, then forward, trigger. For a bullpup design, the trigger on this system is outstanding. One of the things you're gonna have to do, flat rail, make sure you get a mount with enough elevation in it. Moving forward, as we said, switch barrel capable, locks up right here. It's really simple to change the barrels on this system. 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree loosen. Turn this to unlock. Barrel comes right out. Put your new barrel in. Tighten with your torque. Then it's tighten, 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 and relock. That's it. So you've now switched calibers and you can go you know, from any direction you want. With some of these competitions, you know, certain calibers do better than others. Uh, King of Two Mile, they ended up going to a 416 to help see the impacts. Well, you can go and work the various events and all you need is a barrel and bolt. So it, it's a simple way to do that. Bullpup design, as I said, which I think shines in the HTI platform. Why? Because it allows you to have the longer barrels in a shorter platform easier to transport, easier to maneuver. Puts the bipod up forward where we want it. We can even put something like a Revolution bipod to extend it out a little bit, or those bipod extenders that are out there, and you can have that really close to the muzzle. Gonna help accuracy. You have a butt spike design in the back. And again, it it's, can't overstate how well the trigger in a Desert Tech works. Accuracy is outstanding with this rifle system. We took it from 100 yards to beyond a mile, and it's just right there with Desert Tech's own factory ammunition. It's paired system. I was able to go over to my Traceal app, put in the data right off the box, and I was within three tenths of the target just using that data off the box, made a slight adjustment at a mile, and I went from roughly like 13.6 to using 13.3 mils and hitting a mile on command. Really easy, really great system to use here and, and I highly recommend it. I'm a big fan of platform systems that punch above their weight class. And in terms of what you get for what you pay for, this is one of the best bangs for the dollar you're gonna spend out there. It, it's it's truth in advertising with Desert Tech. They talk about repeatability. That repeatability is there. They, they talk about their accuracy. That accuracy is there. Your form and function, all there. So consider this Desert Tech system. Now, I just traveled to Gunsight uh, last month to shoot their XLR course and had a bunch of guys from Alaska with me. One of the students was using a Desert Tech rifle, and I have to say, out of the group of 12 people we had, the Desert Tech was the best performer on the line. Uh, consistently from day one to the last day, hitting targets from 300 yards to over 2,000 meters, the Desert Tech shined every single time. Ready. Left point three. Left point six. Yeah, you were pretty short when you were short. Impact. Impact.
So if you're looking for an ELR rifle system, definitely consider the Desert Tech HDI. I think you'll find it's an outstanding platform and worthy of your consideration. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of Sniper's Hide. Thanks for listening to the Everyday Sniper Podcast. You guys are really pushing us over the top. Go down below and subscribe or come on over to the Sniper's Hide forum and engage in the uh, conversation going on there. You'll find a lot more detail at the Sniper's Hide website.